Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. Today, I think I'm going to do a flip cup because I haven't done a flip cup for a really long time. I think I did one maybe in February-ish, but it was okay. I kind of liked it, kind of didn't like it. So this time what I did was I took my coconut milk hair serum and I put one drop in each of these colors and I'm using the pre-mixed pouring paints from Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. They're really super thin and I've had difficulty with a couple of the pours I've tried them in before. But since they're really thin, I thought maybe they would sell really well or maybe I can get some kind of pearl cells or something out of them in a flip cup. So my colors are, I'll tell you as I go, I wanna figure out my order. I think I will, I put one drop of the coconut milk hair serum in each color. That's why I put them in these little cups. There's nothing else mixed with them. This one is Sky. And I'm going to move the canvas. And I'm gonna move the cup closer to where I can see what I'm doing. And that one is Sky. I don't know if I will be able to kind of layer these across the top of each other because they're very thin. Um, they have like an almost ink-like texture. They're really thin. No, they're gonna kind of mix together a little bit. Anyway, I'm just testing this for the first time. That one was Sapphire. They're very I, maybe I should try mixing them in with some actual paints that are mixed with my medium just to like add some depth to my colors because they are so thin. They're like inks. I guess if I wanted to try resin, I could use them as an ink. But anyway, this one, the first one was Sky. That one was Sapphire. This one is Amethyst. So we'll just try to get a layer in here. They do layer a little bit, but they sink a little bit too. So they'll mix a little bit. They may muddy, I don't know. And then this one is springtime blue. I don't know if you can tell how thin that is. Whenever I started my camera, I made sure you could see most of this white bag. So I'll try to keep all of my work in this section for editing. This one is Berry. I wasn't, I don't really want Berry. Huh, I don't know. This one is, I'll put a little bit of white. Um, yeah, it just says white. Put a little bit of this in between my two layers. I don't have as much of it left because I've used it a few times before. Maybe I should have gotten another one of those. And we'll start again with Sky. I haven't had Sky or Amethyst before. I've used these paints a couple of, in two or three other videos but I didn't have Amethyst and Sky yet at that point. This is Sapphire. Depending on how long this video is, I may speed it up and add words on the screen instead. I don't know. Okay, they are layering a little bit better than I thought they were at first, so that's good. And 
springtime blue and now some berry on top. My hands are shaking. Okay, and I hear Celia whining. I used to do flip cups a lot and I always put down a base coat and everything. But since my white, I don't have a ton of it. Um, I don't have, I don't know, I have a, I have plenty of it, but not as much, not that much to waste. So I will flip my cup and then I will, I'm not sure why my dog Celia is crying. Um, once I lift my cup, I will put some white around like as a flow extender. But I'll let this sit here for just, I like to let it sit for a few minutes to let the colors mingle together with that silicone. And I will go ahead and maybe clean these up and put them away and I'll cut this part out and maybe figure out why Celia's crying. Okay, figured out what Celia wanted. Her back was itching, so I had to scratch her back. Now I'm going to lift my cup, which makes me nervous. I have these, I don't have screws or push pins in the back. I have cups to set it on once I'm done tilting, but I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm kind of worried. And my last one wasn't super great. So I just have to do it and see what happens. I've never been very good at like pushing it off center and tilting it. I like to just kind of lift it up. Whoa. Okay, so I should have my corners at least. Forgot how thin this paint is. Oh my goodness. It's still not going. Okay, so I will probably look I always like the inside of the cup but it'll probably keep going um, over the edges and stuff anyway I don't like this little ring I have here from my cup from the suction in the cup but I do kind of see a face like a face in the moon and I did use more paint than I think I needed so if I pour some I'm already getting a lot of cells if I pour some white around as like a flow extender I should be good. So what this is gonna do when my paint is moving, it's gonna run over this white instead of running over the colors. That's my intention with that. And if I put it right up next to this, it'll definitely, don't even really have to spread it out because it'll, this color will roll over the white. So let's see what I like first. I'm not super crazy over this part here, but I have enough where, let's say I just try to get closer to the edges and that's way more white than I needed. But the reason I have this white plastic down underneath is so that the paint can dry and I can use the skins for something else because I know I'm gonna have a lot of runoff. Um, the weight of the paint's not good going that way. So that's like the farthest way I have to tilt. So we'll go there first. Yeah, I'm stretching my stuff. I don't know what Celia's doing. Sounds like she's spilling her food again. My paint looks really unlevel in that one spot right down there. And I'm not quite sure why. 
I'm just tilting to cover the canvas at this point. And then I have so much paint I can adjust for composition when I'm done. Right now I'm not liking this very well and I think it's because the paints are so thin. But there's a couple of sections where it's thicker and it looks like there's a hill or hump of paint down there. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm not a fan of this, but what I will do is um, I was going to move my pieces over that I wanted to set this up on. So for right now, I will place it down and um, place it down and give it a look. I think the issue is that the paint is so thin and that's the issue I've had with the, these paints before, but let me wash my hands and then I can torch and see what else I can do. Okay, um, let's torch. I do see a few little cells popping up over here and around here and around there. They're just the kind from, the paint is so thin, it's just like running off. So many air bubbles, oh, that's gonna bring out the cells. Okay, now that, is gonna bring out some cells. Um, there is, hold on. There's white right at the edge of that. I kind of wish it was a color. I do see like a lot of these drips are really pretty. They have really pretty drip spots that I can use whenever the skin dries I can use those for necklaces or keychains I wonder if I can get any cells right in here I like the clusters of cells Okay, now I'm getting some cells. I'm trying to decide, maybe I should have, some of them are like big and wonky and some of the blue spots are really wonky. It looks like there's a hill right here in the paint, like the paint's thicker right there than it is over on that side. I don't know why, that's why I kept messing with it and tilting it around and everything to begin with. I, once I torched and these cells popped up, I'm liking this so much more. Once it dries, it will completely level out. So um, that's, everything's okay. I, there's like a white spot here. I kind of wish I could tilt that over, but I'm seeing what looks like a gray. And I don't have any gray. I don't remember what colors in here made gray. 
because some of my leftover paint from whenever I've used some of these before, there was some gray. Um, but anyway, it looks like gray lined with that sky turquoisey color. It's really pretty. And if I went to tilt to get rid of that white that I don't like right there, I would lose those gray and turquoisey looking spots. Um, I could tilt some more to kind of stretch out some of the cells because they're all clustered together. But I like how the purple's coming through that dark blue right there. Um, I don't know if I want to do anything else to it or not. I didn't like it and then I torched and now it's I like it better because I was going for cells. I like these here. Um, hmm. Should I tilt it some more or should I leave it alone? Like my tilting is what messed it up to where I didn't like it and whenever I torched I got what I liked out of it. Ooh, some more cells popping up. Now I'm going to over torch. The thing is that berry color when mixed with like the white that lightened up it isn't selling like the rest of it is it's like that mauvey color right through there so that berry must not have but some of it's there with cells so i don't know scratch that See all that sapphire that came up through there. Nothing else is going to sell through that. Okay, I know I've... I have a really hard time ending videos or ending a painting. I'm going to stop. I'm going to keep it like this. I know I could tilt some more. I'm sure I have enough paint that I could tilt some more. But I'm just going to leave this one how it is, and then I might do it again. I have more of those paints, and I can put a, like, make sure there's still sili silicone in there, and I can do it again. Maybe do a different order. Um, maybe do it a little bit better. I don't know. I could, I, now I want to try a flip cup with my normal paints, with my normal pouring medium with some silicone. I think I might get better results that way because these paints are so thin. It might change as it dries because the paints are so thin. So I'll just leave it and see what happens. And I'll take you down for a close up. Like I said, I'm gonna let that leftover paint dry so I can peel the skin off and use it for necklaces. And I can just put down a clean plastic next time. And then, um, see what else I can do. So that's it for this one. I'll take you for a close up. Thanks as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. And have a blessed day. Bye. P.S. When I said that's it for this one, Celia got up and left the room. So she was just helping me paint, I think. So have a blessed day. Bye. Okay, here's the close up from my side of the table. This one may change as it dries. I need to show you the last one. It looks way darker through this camera than it does to my eye. Um, but anyway, I'll show you again after it dries eventually. I love some of these cells through here with that amethyst and uh, sky color next to each other. Um, I like some of these with that 
berry and the sapphire next to each other with some white in between. Um, I don't really like this part through here where it's just melty, wavy, yucky looking paint where the paint itself isn't the best, I don't think. I don't know, I just haven't figured out, out how to best use this paint. This looks really pretty through here with the purple popping up through the blue and I kind of see a little person sitting there. But, um, I do kind of like this wispy look of the sky through there too. So the more I look at it, the more I like it. And I'll definitely have to keep trying with these paints until I get my, there's what the side looks like, until I get to where I can figure out what my favorite way to use these paints is and to see how to make them react the way that I want them to. Um, what I may need to do is, like I said, add them to some of my normal colors and just use them as like an ink to change the color a little bit because they're really bright, really pretty colors. I'm just not used to using paint that is this thin. So I have to keep practicing until I can figure out what I can do well with these paints. Let me know what you think about this painting and thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.